Praise God. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved church family. Wednesday evening worship service. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is head over heels in love with you. Praise God. It's so good to see you guys. I am so thankful. Amen. That Lord Jesus Christ is coming back sooner today than ever before. Ain't that the truth? Amen. Listen, we got to we gotta look at, I mean, we got to be positive. Praise God. Rejoice. Amen. Be happy. It's a choice. Amen. So we're going to jump right into this, praise God. I know this past Sunday, hallelujah, it was almost an hour worship service, amen. And glory to God, many of you just sent encouraging, loving texts, and I'm just so thankful for that, praise God. And uh, I, I, I never want to rush Holy Spirit or, or rebuke that, amen. I mean, it's, it's all blessing God and just worshiping, amen. So pray for me because I'm going to try to do a, a gooder job. As far as uh, being the mouthpiece, as always, we're, we're, we're just a mouthpiece, amen? We're worshiping, but just getting right into this, amen? And I'm not rushing, Holy Spirit, never, Lord, forgive me. But um, just, just wanting always to be obedient, amen? Are you all excited? Praise God, I am, amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Father, that you love us. Father, that you've shown us your love because we always ran away from you. You showed us your love, Lord Jesus Christ, that is who you are. And Lord Jesus Christ, we plead your holy and precious blood. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that we are all members of your body. We are one in you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus, we know that as we plead your blood, being thankful for your perfect work, for you are the only Son of God, the only perfect sacrifice of God Almighty, that Holy Spirit, we are blessing your presence right now. So Father God, we ask for your wisdom. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to teach us. For you're our only teacher. And Heavenly Father, in every worship service, Father God, it's all about, it's all about, all about worshiping you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessing your Holy Spirit and being obedient to what you speak, Father God, through Holy Spirit in us. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you know us by name, that you have sealed us for all of eternity. And that you are in our every breath, that your light, your salvation... Your power is in us, Father, and we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, and it's in Jesus' name, and all God's beloved said, amen, praise God, God bless you guys, amen, give each other a high five, amen, give yourself, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, a high five, praise God, and don't forget the angels, amen, Woo! hallelujah, amen, God is on your side, he's head over heels in love with you, praise God, so let's start off, once again, the title is I am willing, I am willing Hallelujah. This is what God said, and this is what we have to be obedient about. I am willing. However, just so you know, Holy Spirit is also, is also telling me as far as what you're going to see here. Amen. We're going to be in Romans 8, 31. Praise God. Romans 8, 31. Now, I, I asked Holy Spirit, and this is how it's, it's, it's laid out, because many of you can just pause. You could pause the video and, and read the scriptures on the screen. Amen. So we're just going to flow the way Holy Spirit says so. And remember, just being obedient. Amen. But before we get into Romans 8.31, I just want to say, I love you. Amen. I love you. Praise God. And I, I pray that you know that. Amen. There's some of you right now saying you don't even know me and all that stuff. But guess what? We don't love the way the world loves. Amen. When I say I love you. As a beloved child of God, I just know the price that was paid for this love to manifest in you and in me for all of eternity. And I say with all my heart, I love you. Amen. And I love this because right away, Holy Spirit says, when you know the love of the Father, right? When you know how much Father God loves you, this is why Lord Jesus Christ came now. Amen. Glory to God. Don't you love moments like this? How Holy Spirit just rebukes all of religion, right? All this crunchiness, all this, well, I know this better. I know Greek. I know how, right? It has nothing to do with any of that. It has nothing to do with your lineage. It has nothing to do with all the sins. It has nothing to do with how good you are. Nothing. There's only one good, amen? Hallelujah. And it's agape, right? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And when you know that God loves you this much, remember, it's only through his love. His love was nailed to that cross for you and me. 
Amen. His love has a name. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. When you know that God loves you, I love you, right? I love you. This is where Holy Spirit wants us to just rest in for all of eternity. In the Father's love. Because when we rest in the Father's love, Holy Spirit's presence in us, oh my goodness. Do you want to be a child of God that just wants to bless God every day, right? Every day. You know, we're so blessed with brothers and sisters here at Open Arms Community Church. I told Brother Lance this just the other day. You know, I, I, I pray that I had a, a daddy like him, right? I told Pastor that. I tell Brother Brad that, amen? Brother Charlie, right? Brother William. Um, I, I, I mean, all, all of our brothers, right? Brother David. I mean, on and on and on. Brother Joey. I, I can go on and on about everybody. Brother Kevin. This is the body of Christ now, Amen. And, and even overwhelming in this love and being thankful. I, I told these men of God, my brothers, I pray that I had a daddy like you. Because they're, they're so sold out that God is the only one, amen, that you just feel and see the anointing of their life, Holy Spirit presence in their life, and how they love their wives and how they love their children and how they'll do anything for their children, right? Right? And youth, I pray that you, you, you hear and receive this message that you, your parents love you, amen? You may not agree with what they're telling you to do. You, you know, you may be going through a different, a weird stage in your life. Guess what? We've all been there, right? All I'm asking you to do is rest in the Father's love. Because when you rest in this love of Christ, amen? When you rest in this love of Christ, Holy Spirit's presence in your life, oh my goodness, you just see you, you, you remember back in the day in the old TVs before high definition, right? And the TVs got bigger and bigger, but the only problem was when the TVs got bigger and bigger, the picture, it, it kind of looked garbage, didn't it? I mean, I, I, back in the day, I would rather watch on the little one rather than the big one because the big one was just, oh, this is too, it's, it's hard for my eye. But the point that I'm making is, do you remember the transition you made from the old TV, the old and if you have that, forgive me. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying this is a comparison. Don't get crunchy on me, okay? It's a comparison. That you, you transition from that old TV, the tube TV, right? And then you get a flat screen, high definition TV. Oh, hallelujah, right? And of course, now I know there's 4K and 8K and I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. But they have all these different... But that's, what's, that's what it's like when you worship God Almighty and you just rest in his love. And how much God loves you. And the, and the more that you're thankful for Lord Jesus Christ. And not only what he did here on this earth, but just the fact that he is the beginning and the end. Alpha and Omega. That he was already there. Oh my goodness, it just starts to blow you away. And that's where Holy Spirit wants us in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you. I love you. You love me? Praise God. I pray so in Jesus' name. If not, I pray for you. Praise God. <laughs> I love you. So let's get into Romans 8.31. Praise God. Now before we get into the scripture, this is something that Holy Spirit wanted us to just uh, go over real quick. I love you has eight letters, right? Three words. This is really cool. And it's one God. Amen. Now this 831 is a, is, it's, it's a cyber code. And the cyber code is actually defined as, guess what? I love you. Amen. And I just thought that was really awesome because we're here in Romans 8, 31. And um, it's just powerful when you know that those numbers, 8, 3, 1, in cyber text means, I love you. Praise God. Eight letters, three words, one God. Of course, when you pull up cyber text in the definition, it says one meaning. But our meaning comes from one God. One God is agape, amen. Who is God? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Where is God? In you and in me, amen. Praise God, let's get right into this. Hallelujah. Now we're going to get into Romans 8.31. Praise God. I pray you prayed for me. Hallelujah. we got a lot to go through. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What then shall we say in response to these things? Can you say it with me? These things. You see, everything that's happening in this world is these things. Right? Whatever is happening, right? Of course, one of the big distractions right now that's running chaos and causing chaos is this virus, right? Well, guess what? Say it with me. That is one of these things. These things, right? And this is what God has to say. 
If God is for us, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If God is for us, who can be against us? Now, isn't that right there so convicting? Right there? Because who can come against God Almighty? And in this translation, and I pray that you read all of Romans 8, amen, so powerful, praise God, all of it, it's all my favorite, amen, my favorite, is this, is that when you say, God is for me, can you say that with me, God is for me, hallelujah, God is for me, when you say that God is for me, the power of God's presence in you, immediately, immediately, you see Lord Jesus Christ. And when you say God is for me, right? When you, do you ever have somebody say, I got your back? Or whatever you need, let me know. I'm there for you. Or whatever it is, I got you, right? However, however the, 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 the conversation may be. But when somebody says, I got you, right? Does that not show support? Amen? Does that not show love? Does that not show as far as that their view and opinion of you is, I believe in you. Amen. I believe in you, right? And this is what I love as far as when you rest in the Father's love, when you rest in the Father's love, Holy Spirit presence in us reminds us that no matter what we're going through, these things, right, these things was nailed to the cross. These things, right, has nothing to do with God the Father. Amen? So if you recall the, the title that we put on this message is, I am willing. Amen? Say that with me. I am willing. Now, in this I am willing, it takes us back to the Garden of Gethsemane. And in this Garden of Gethsemane, this is what took place. We're going to start here in Matthew. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. Amen? Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him. Okay? Sit here while I go over there. You, you, you. Come with me. Amen. You, 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 come with me. And he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul. Amen. Place your hand over your soul. My soul. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ had to tell him. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Can you imagine what Lord Jesus Christ was going through at that very moment? And then he says to them, he says to them, stay here and keep watch with me. Amen. I love this picture. I pray that you can see it on your screen. Amen. But it just shows how Lord Jesus Christ said, stay there and keep watch over me. And now Lord Jesus Christ is going to pray. Amen. Going a little farther, he fell on his face to the ground and prayed. The Lord Jesus said, My Father, if it's all possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not, I, not as I will, but as you will. I love this picture. Praise God, I have it on my screen at home. And it just shows the worship of Lord Jesus Christ to the Father. Then he returned to his disciples, and then he found them sleeping. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ said. Could you imagine, could you imagine as far as being in such torment? And here you are with your disciples, with your church, right? With your church. And you've already told them what's about to happen. You already know that it's in motion, and you're asking for support, right? You're asking for, help me, help me. 
And so he prays and then he comes back and here they are just sleeping. Just, right? Just knocked out. Right? And he said, couldn't you, couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? And he asked Peter. And then he said again to them, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So from this moment on, we're going to keep that up here. That the spirit is willing, but the flesh is is weak. Now notice quickly that Lord Jesus Christ is trying to encourage his disciples, right? And, and you, you heard that he's talking to, to, to Peter there, and, he, and he's like, listen, the spirit's willing, but the flesh is weak. So I need you to just keep watch over me, because I need you to just pray, just, just be in worship, right? Just, just, just keep watch, because the enemy... The enemy, the tempter, that's the devil now, the tempter, he wants you to fall into temptation, right? He wants you to get tripped up. And so you could see Lord Jesus Christ praying, but yet right behind them, they fell asleep. The spirit is willing. Say with me, I am willing. I am willing. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, is demonstrating as he's worshiping the Father before before the, this betrayal manifests. He says, he went away a second time and prayed. My father, if it's not possible for this cup to be taken away, unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. You can see that's highlighted in the red. Sometimes it's hard to see on your screens at home. But this is highlighted in red for a reason. Holy Spirit wanted this highlighted because this is the state this world is in right now. Right? This is the state where this world is in right now. That our eyes are heavy. That the flesh is so strong. Right? And the spirit is the one that we're just ignoring. The spirit is the one that we would rather cater to the spirit on things of social media, looking on Facebook. Come on now, family. That we would rather spend hours and hours. I know, I, I know family like this. And my goodness, I don't judge them. I just pray for them. But hours and hours, they're on Facebook. Or hours and hours, they're playing these video games. What does that do? They're... They're filling themselves with spiritual bondage. It's not Holy Spirit. It's this world's demonic spirit. And this spiritual oppression makes the body weak. Because what that does is it caters to the fleshly desires. And so here Lord Jesus Christ, he come back and once again... Here they are with heavy eyes, not worshiping, not praying, just, right? And listen, to some of you right now, this may be a heavy message because of the conviction of Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, I pray in Jesus' name that we just allow God to be God and say, Father, forgive me. If there's things in my life that I'm doing that is trying to deceive me or put a wedge in my relationship, with you, with you, Father God, I rebuke that right now. I'll get rid of it. I'll throw it out in Jesus' name. And glory to God, do it. Hallelujah, do it. It continues on to say this. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Let me ask you something, beloved church family. When Lord Jesus Christ came back in the red once again, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. Does the written word of God say that Lord Jesus Christ woke them up again? How sad is this moment right here? 
where, he, where the Bible says, so he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. See, there's something that God wants us to be aware of as far as in this divine moment in how Holy Spirit's teaching us right now. You see, in the Old Covenant, Old Testament, right there where Jesus is, as he was trying to wake up his disciples and, and he, you know, he's going to pray and worship, this is what Holy Spirit wants us to understand as far as the divine order. Can you say that with me? Divine order of God. You see, in the Old Covenant, Old Testament, before Lord Jesus Christ, before Agape was manifested, before he became man, right, there's the temple. And in the temple, there was an outer court, there was an inner court, and then there's a holy of holies, right? Some call it the outer court, the holy place, and then the holy of holies, right? And isn't it beautiful that you see in this illustration, in what Lord Jesus Christ did, is when he went to where he needed to go, he told some of his disciples, all right, stay right here, right? Amen? Stay right here. You, you, you. Come with me, right? They came. And then Lord Jesus Christ, he said, all right, now you stay right here. And of course, we don't need to go back through it. Praise God. Holy Spirit's the teacher now, amen? Later on, get in the word. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Will, oh my goodness, there's just so much. Praise God. So much. So much I have to tell you before we go, amen? But let's just be obedient. And this is what, this is what Lord Jesus Christ did. He said, stay here. Now I need to go. And isn't it beautiful that you see here in this illustration in the garden that there was the outer court and then there was the inner court, right? The holy place. But then only Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Only Lord Jesus Christ. Our only perfect high priest, the perfect beloved son of God, the only son of God, the perfect sacrifice of God Almighty, the Messiah himself, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Only the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, amen, did he enter the Holy of Holies. And it's in this Holy of Holies that Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, that Lord Jesus Christ would be in the presence of God Almighty. And he would worship and he would sweat drips of blood and he would worship God the Father. And he was just showing. Not only as far as the intimacy that he has with the Father. And how he laid his will down. He laid it down and said, Father, your will be done. I have to do everything that you tell me to do. And I love this intimacy with the Father. Because you could feel Lord Jesus Christ. You could feel his heart. You could, you, you, you could, it's just so overwhelming, right? You, not only is this about to happen, but here's his support group, right? Sleeping. But the glory of Holy Spirit is as we take a, a step back and we look at this picture, as you can see on the screen, when you look at the picture of not only the Lord Jesus Christ worshiping the Father, Agape himself showing us that no matter what happens in this life, you just press in and you worship because the Spirit, Holy Spirit is willing in you and in me, hallelujah, to overcome in victory. The flesh is weak. Beloved church family, the flesh is garbage. But here Lord Jesus Christ is teaching whoever has ears to hear, right? And he's coaching his disciples along. Remember, you got some that are in the outer courts. I pray that you have some that are, you know, just looking like this, going, why are they sleeping? Right? You would pray so. Or maybe all of them are crashed out. Who knows? But you have the outer court. Then you have the, the inner court, the holy part. And then you have the holy of holies. And here Holy Spirit is showing us in this overhead that what Lord Jesus Christ is demonstrating is a divine picture, an illustration of how the Holy One, Lord Jesus Christ, could enter only through His Holy Blood, the blood of Father God, into the presence of God in a relationship. And Holy Spirit is speaking to His new covenant church. 
Hallelujah. Open arms to me, church. You have Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Holy Spirit lives in you. And in this illustration, God is saying, you, you now have my blood that covers you for all of eternity. You now have my love that you come one-on-one -on -one with me and worship me and my spirit, my spirit, my Holy Spirit and you in me, he is willing and he will bless you with life-changing revelation. Amen? Glory to God. I love this. You got the outer court, the inner court, and the holy of holies. Amen? Then he returned to his disciples and said to them, are you still sleeping, resting? And look, this is it. Look, the hour has come. The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of the sinners. And right now God is saying, will his holy church wake up? Amen. Will, be, will we be the ones that Lord Jesus Christ taught us? Hallelujah. That Lord Jesus Christ died for us, that we died in Christ, and now that we died already, I died already. Amen? Say it with me, I died already. You done died already. So now will we allow Holy Spirit, who is willing, will we be the one, hallelujah, to be having that intimacy with Father God Almighty? Amen? What then shall we say? In response to these things, if God is for us, who can be against us? Who can be against us? The glory of God is, I am willing. Amen? That when we rest knowing that God is head over heels in love with us, the presence of Holy Spirit, beyond anything we can comprehend or understand, God knows our heart. And all he is asking of us to do is to be thankful. To allow Holy Spirit who is willing to do the mighty work in you and in me. I've just been unctioned by the Holy Spirit to speak blessings over every cell in your body. To speak to dry bones. Hallelujah. To speak to your bones and in Jesus name there's bones that are being healed right now. As his anointing flows through your breath. Take a breath. There's arteries being opened. Amen. Glory to God. There's pain. There's pain being rebuked in Jesus' name. Amen. There's cancer being casted to the pit of hell because it's cursed by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I speak this right now in Jesus' name. Do you receive it? Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Romans 8, 31. Praise God. Remember. God is a God of divine order. Amen. And just like you saw in the outer, in the outer courts, in the inner courts, right? The holy place and in the holy of holies, this is what God wanted to show. This illustration. And remember, we were, were glory to God, we were in Romans 8, 31. God is for us. Who can be against us, right? God is for us. That means agape. Agape! Father, Son, Holy Spirit. His love is for you. Amen. Remember, perfect love, agape, cast out all fear in Jesus' name. Amen. Which means perfect love, agape, hallelujah, cast out everything. Hallelujah, cast out everything in Jesus' name. Amen. And remember, 831, we, we talked about the cyber text, right? The definition of 831, right? Eight letters, eight letters, three words, amen. One agape, one God. It means I love you. Hallelujah. Amen. And as you know, it's all Holy Spirit. It just gets gooder and gooder. In Jesus' name, 831. I just love this. God is for us. Who can be against us? And you see here, 831. How eight disciples were left in the outer court. Three disciples were in the inner court. In the holy place. But only one went into the holy of holies. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And remember the glory. We are a new covenant church. God lives in us. In you and in me. His name is Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit now wants us 
to take this spiritual picture of the physical, of what you see on the screen, and the question that God has for his beloved children, are you going to have a one-on-one -on -one with me? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't care how old you are, how long you've been. I don't care. God right now is asking, will you be one-on-one -on -one with me in Jesus' name? Amen. I pray that this word bless you. Holy Spirit said so just keep it right there. Amen. And I am so thankful for you, beloved church family. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for all of eternity. Thank you, Father, for your divine order. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you are once and for all. You are God Almighty, hallelujah, agape, Lord Jesus Christ. Once and for all, you went into the Holy of Holies. And when you yielded up your spirit, you tore that veil in half, saying, now any soul, any soul that receives me, Lord Jesus Christ, that Holy Spirit, you now have the one-on-one -on -one with us. It's a relationship with you, Father, and we thank you. Father, I thank you so much for your anointing, your presence. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all of eternity. Father, I love you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Father God, this is your church, Open Arms Community Church. We are your holy people, paid for through your perfect sacrifice, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the only way, the only truth, the only life. And as we plead your holy and precious blood, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you that this is your church that we are unified in you. Bless us, Father, with all your angels that are around us fighting for us, Father God. Push evil far, far, far away from us, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Father, for destroying the plots of the enemy. And we thank you, Father God, that no matter what this looks like, we will never stop, Father, having this relationship with you, Father God. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Lord Jesus Christ. We bless you and we thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. On the count of three, say I love you. One, two, three. I love you. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. Oh, it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, beloved church family, for your offering. Praise God. Remember, go to oacchurch.com and you can give electronically there oacchurch.com praise God we just want to say thank you you can't out give God God already sees your heart and hallelujah thank you we, we pray we speak just a million fold over you hallelujah we don't limit God our father love you so much beloved church family praise God I pray I see you Saturday evening if not hallelujah in this next half an hour love you guys God bless you hallelujah Jesus Christ is Lord Mwah.